Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Today we are learning order of Allah from Surah Furqan, ayat number 30. Allah said, Auzu billahi minash shaitanir rajim, bismillahir rahmanir rahim. Wakala rasulu ya rabbi, inna kaumitta khazu. Hazal Qur'ana Mahjura. So Allah said, At the day of judgment, when the people who left Holy Qur'an, who were not in a position to get guidance from Holy Qur'an to make their life according to Holy Qur'an, those people will be with those one who will be kufar and mushrikeen and other people munafikeen. So at that time, those people who make Holy Quran to stay one side in their home and left it to stay there, they never touched it, but they were called Muslim and they followed the traditions, fashions and customs and also rights of those people who have gone astray. And they followed their fashion, lifestyle, way of life in every field and they were just by name Muslim and they will be with those people at the day of judgment who will be Munafikeen, Mushrikeen, Kuffar and who left Holy Quran who, who were not to obey it, who were not to follow it completely and fully at that time when Allah will say about them, the Holy Prophet ﷺ will answer, reply to that, and that this order of Allah is telling us the reply of Holy Prophet Muhammad ﷺ at the Day of Judgment. So Prophet ﷺ will say, Waqal al and the Holy Prophet ﷺ will say, Ya Rabbi, O my Lord, Inna, no doubt, indeed, Kaumi, my nation, my ummah, these people, Kaumitta Khazu, they have made Hazal Quran, Holy Quran, this Quran, this Holy Quran, Mahajura to left side. Inna Kaumitta Khazu, Hazal Quran, Mahajura. Holy Quran, they left aside. Wakala Rasulu Ya Rabbi in Nakomita Kazu Hazal Qurana Mahajura. Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam will say at the day of judgment, O oh my Lord, O oh my Rabb, O oh my Allah. In fact, these people they left Holy Quran aside. They, they were not able to follow that one. Even Holy Quran, the whole Holy Quran is completely in every place. You can find it in social media, in uh, internet, uh, in book form in the hearts of some people. Holy Quran is available everywhere. But who is to touch that one? Who is to get guidance from that one? This is the problem now. Because at the day of judgment, so we, when Holy Prophet will, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam will say that these people, they left Holy Quran aside, they were not to touch that, not to follow that. 
they were not to get guidance from that one to make their life according to Quran or Sunnah. So what will be our reply there? And how much shameful we will be there? Think now this situation here and think your, your way of life, your lifestyle, your uh, uh, situation is a Muslim person even from childhood goes to school and then college then university and they become they try to memorize the biggest so much books they memorize it they learn them understand them and then they pass the exam to get the worldly wealth to get the better job to get to the position in the society. They make their lifestyle high standard. After going through so many books, but one book that is the real guidance for this world and the world here after Holy Quran, no one is just to touch that. They are not to look at, they are not to read it, recite it properly. They are not to understand its meaning and interpretation and then they are not to follow them in their life. The movement of body organs, the deeds of the person are not coinciding with the guidance of Holy Quran. So this is the situation which we are observing now. You can see the Muslim of today they spend so much time watching movies and watching dramas. They are not to leave the episode of drama. They are not to leave episode of movies. They are not to leave social media, mobile link with other people. But they are having no 10 minutes, no 15 minutes just to look at Holy Quran to understand it. They have no time. Many people who are by name Muslim, I, I know some people, I have seen, I have gone to their houses, they are by name Muslim, but there is no existence of Holy Quran in their heart, in their body, in their way of life, in their lifestyle, even in their house we can't see the Holy Book. This is the situation of those people who are called only Muslim. I have seen those people in London here. And, and same like this, some other people who are called Muslims and they learned Holy Quran in Arabic. They learned Holy Quran in Arabic, they know the Arabic also, but after learning they, they made their life completely and fully busy in the worldly activities and they left Holy Quran in their house at the peak place. And the Holy Quran is lying there. Just when they find there is dust upon it, they just try to clean it, sweep it, and then leave there again. This is the situation which we see in the houses of some Muslims. And that is nothing more. That is only Holy Quran is just staying in the house just for barqa, just for blessings of Allah. They think this is better for us. These are other type of Muslims we can see here. You can see throughout the world this is happening also. Some other people, we have seen those people, they like music. And they like to listen Holy Quran in music style. With Tajweed and Tartil, they are just to try to listen the tune of Holy Quran which makes them happy. And if someone is reading Holy Quran, some uh, even the right way, but uh, no no tune, 
दैट पर्सन थे दोज पीपल दे से ही आर शी इज रीडिंग होली कुरान रॉन्ग रीडिंग रॉन्ग दे आर रीडिंग रॉन्ग होली कुरान दे आर दे डोंट नो हाउ टू रीड होली कुरान एंड इवन दोज पीपल हु हैव लव टू लिसन होली कुरान इन म्यूजिकल वे दे डोंट लाइक टू listen holy quran even if the person is reading that one and explaining it and uh, then uh, interpreting the uh, tafsir and then inviting them to make their life according to holy quran and these people they are not to listen not to take the message of that people if if the message comes on the mobile phone they try to delete that one if the message is uh, like relating to some sexual lust or some type of uh, worldly benefit they try to look that one but if the message is about holy quran islam they try to delete that one this is the situation happening now and some other muslim people they just read holy quran for the time being like every day they try to read surah kahf when someone dies they try to read surah yasin and sometime when they feeling there is problem no money coming in home and job is going off then they try to read some ayat from holy quran or some names of allah just for their job just for their money or just for their other necessities they try to open holy quran to read that part that which is just for requirement otherwise holy quran is lying there so this is other type of muslims who are whose connection with holy quran is like this and we can see some other muslims also so who read holy quran sometime but read when they feel okay we should read now because uh, after all we are muslim we should try to read holy quran they try to read like sometime when they feel it okay it is but just to, for the time being these are other type of muslims also and you know these but all these people if you look at the lifestyle of these people it totally reflect the lifestyle of those people who has gone astray and who make the cartoons of holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam who dishonor holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and these people lifestyle reflect the lifestyle of those people their dress their fashions their way of talking way of moving way of uh, way of uh, dealing with other people you will see completely it is a reflection of those people who dishonor holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and they, they then they say we love holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam our life is for holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam we will die for holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam how it is just munafik hypocrite nothing more and these people all those at the day of judgment they will be with kufar munafikin mushrikin fasikin and then when allah will say about them holy prophet will sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam say in reply to allah وقال الرسول ان هولي بروفيت صلى الله عليه وسلم سي يا ربي او ماي لارد ان قوم اتخذوا هذا القران مهجورا these are the people who left holy quran aside they were not to get guidance from holy quran they never got guidance they used holy quran for their desires for their own desires of the world so they were just using holy quran for their own greed 
and this these people will be there because they have not got uh, uh, guidance from holy quran and they never implemented that one in their daily life their body parts movement was not according to quran sunna this way at the day of judgment they will be in trouble same like some people we can see they recite holy quran every day but little bit little bit but they don't to try to look at the meaning understanding of that and some people we can see there are very few people if you find million people maybe in million muslims they will be counted in like maybe 50s or 100 just those people who read holy quran every day even if they read holy quran little bit but they read with the translation with the explanation and understand clearly completely and then they make their life according to that and they follow that one and they practice holy quran in their lifestyle and and then they convey the message of this holy quran to other people there are a few people a few in the whole world but they are so this way this is the time for the muslims who can see who can watch the movies dramas and different other things of their sexual lust of their worldly lust of their uh, Uh, business benefits of their uh, uh, other benefits of their life they they can give so much time but for holy quran they have no 10 15 minutes some people who are trying to get money earn money and luxuries of this life and uh, the lust of this life they have every time they are trying to uh, earn by hook and crook and but they have no time to look at holy quran to look at the sunnah of prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam they are not to implementing quran or sunnah in their life and similarly you can see our houses our women's they left their body they are open before everyone because of social media uh, mostly we can see mostly the women they made uh, the friendship with those people who to whom islam blocks islam banned but they have done it so where is they are because and 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 they under they, they say okay we are doing good job because they are not in connection with quran with sunna of prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and what is coming in social media they understand that is islam and they learn that and they try to understand and make their life according to that they think this is our social life style and we like this one so but this is their desires and allah said in surah jasiya wa afar ayta man ittakhaza hawahu ilahahu the person who has desires they make desires their own allah so they follow that one at the day of judgment they will they will be with the kufar also because they made their desires add as their lord and they got to, uh, like uh, uh, stamp on their heart and stamp on their ears and heart so what will they get nothing so these are the this is the situation we can see in our houses also the men and women and you can say men and women mostly in social me through social media they left their like islamic purity islamic uh, you know that is the special modesty that is gone 
So keep in mind, and some people who say that uh, some tafasir people say about this ayat, this ayat uh, was is revealed by kufar. But this ayat is revealed for kufar and those people who are away from Islam, who left Holy Quran. This ayat is explaining about them also, because the kufar at the at the time of Holy Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, what they said. Look at Surah Fasilat, ayat number twenty-six. وَقَالَ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا لَا تَسْمَعُوا لِهَذَا الْقُرْآنَ وَالْغَوْفِيهِ لَأَلَّكُمْ تَغْلِبُونَ so these people waqal allazina kafaru and these kuffar they said la tasmau haza li haza alquran la tasmau don't listen holy quran this holy could not listen it wal ghaw fihi when it is it is uh, reciting then you have to make a noise because people they were clapping they were doing so many whistling and so many things they were doing because they were thinking la allakum taghlibun that you will overcome on it otherwise if you start listening holy quran maybe because of holy quran when you listen possibility you will accept islam this way the mushrikeen in makkah they were uh, trying to uh make a noise whistling or clapping when the holy quran was reciting so otherwise they were thinking if it is reciting we are listening may be possible we will be the muslim also we will accept it so but the main thing is that now for us we have to look our social life our lifestyle our islam but think now this life is for the time being we are going to find our life in our grave we are we will open up again to the day of judgment we are our deeds with respect to iman will be judged and on the basis of that we will find our place in the paradise or in hell so we must understand and look at the tactics of shaitan look at the tactics and the and the motivation of our sexual lust our worldly lust our Uh, worldly benefit uh, uh, trend we have to look and and look at the friends and company and environment that is making you away from islam or that is trying to snatch your uh, iman and suck your iman you have to understand that one and be away from that and make your life according to the lifestyle of holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and learn holy quran and understand holy quran in the guidance of holy sunnah of prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and make your life according to quran and sunnah so that we should be successful in this world and the world hereafter allah give us tawfeeq ameen